which is moving to our uh, next speaker. So uh, next will be the um, our um, last speaker. The last is not the least, <laughs> particularly true for for Chang Hui's case. Uh, uh, Chang Hui actually uh, obtained his uh, bachelor degree uh, 2005 from a Peking University, his PhD in 2010 in organic chemistry from a SLC uh, under the supervision of a Professor Dawei Ma. And uh, following a post uh, study with Professor Phil Barron at the Scripps Research Institute, he returned to Wuhan University in 2015. His research focused on developing novel methodologies for efficient and practical synthesis of a biologically important molecules. Uh, he has received many awards, including the Kimi Chemistry Journals Award 2017, uh, chemistry, uh, um, and the Wuxi Apotec uh, Life Chemistry Research Award uh, 2022. Uh, he's also uh, one of the current Science of Synthesis Early Career Advisory Board member. And today, the title of his talk is Asymmetric uh, Cladium uh, Novering Cooperative Catalysis. Xiang Hui, uh, uh, we are ready for your talk. Xiang Hui, Thank you, we... Professor Yu. Can, can you hear me? Yes, Please. now it's perfect. Can you see my screen well? Yes, now it works. It, it, it's, it's, uh, it's very good. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, let's be. Uh... Okay, uh, so uh, first I'd like to thank SOS for organizing this uh, important event. Thank Professor Yu for the kind of invitation and introduction. My topic today is uh, uh, asymmetric plating novoline cooperative catalysis. Sorry, looks like. According to the statistics, 19% of the Top bestseller, uh, small molecular medicines in 2012, uh, 2021 contain polysubstrate arenes. In addition, uh, many natural products, catalysts, and the functional materials also have polysubstrate arenes as a key motifs. Yeah, so, so polysubstrate arenes uh, serves as a cornerstone of a uh, sorry, as the cornerstone of uh, functional materials. General and efficient approaches for the direct synthesis of polysubstrate arenes from ready available starting materials are in urgent need. In 1997, uh, the Canadian group reported the, a unique three component cross coupling reaction for the preparation of polysubstrate arenes. It outlines the palladium norbolin cooperative catalysis uh, should facilitate sequential CH activation and uh, an episode cross coupling of every iodine, thereby allows the uh, precise differentiation of the also CH activation and the IPS uh, iodine position. Simultaneously, after 20 years of development, this reaction has become a powerful tool for the synthesis of highly substituted arenes. However, it has one major uh, limitation. So it, the asymmetric ocean haven't been realized yet for the preparation of polysubstrate chiral arenes, just as presented in pure, in pure slides. When I started my uh, independent career, I uh, at Wuhan was in 2012, I noticed this important issue and uh, dedicated to addressing this challenge topic. According to the proposed reaction mechanism, the nobling, you have a nobling plating complex access to true different uh, uh, strategies to achieve asymmetric catalysis. One is through asymmetric EPSO combination, which may be used chiral ligand or organic catalysis as a chiral source. Uh, the other is using asymmetric also CX activation, uh, using chiral nobolin as a chiral source. The breakthrough in the form approach was made by Professor Gu from USTC reported the use of uh, chiral, uh, chiral phosphate ligand for the to control the IPSO termination uh, to uh, introduce the central chirality and the axial chirality in 2006 and 2018. My group also made a, a contribution in this field in 2018. There are uh, Professor Gong, Liu Zhu Gong from 
USTC report the use of chiral AMI as the chi source to control IPSA termination. Breakthrough in the later one, uh, I will be realized using uh, inelegant at this symmetrization and uh, chiral resolution reactions for the construction of central chirality by Professor Yu and Dong in, since uh, uh, 2018. Notably, my group also made a, uh, um, my group also made great contributions in this uh, uh, late approach for the construction axial chirality and the planar chirality. Uh, they are the main topic of my to uh, the main content of my topic today. As it's widely known, axial chiral uh, axial chiral by errors are one of the privileged chiral frameworks for the assembly of uh, aromatic function materials. A chop since of bioarism in area of standard interest in organic chemistry, several elegant uh, strategies have been developed, including central to axial chiral transfer, torsional strain, uh, strain probability ring cleavage, asymmetric cost coupling, de novo iron synthesis, and the functionalization of bioarism through stage aggravation, uh, destromization of kinetic resolutions. Uh, we envision a different strategy for the construction of axial clarity from simple and readily available uh, uh, reagent using a plating and a chiral normalin uh, cooperative catalysis. The process starts with uh, the reaction of iodide with uh, plating and the chiral normalin to form the uh, iodide normalin plating cycle AMP complex, which is then oxidized by the uh, bulky uh, iodine reagent to form the plating four complex. That's a case cut process involving reductive elimination, the beta carbon elimination to uh, replenish the chiral uh, normalin catalyst and form the uh, axial chiral uh, plating intermediate, which will finally be terminated uh, by the normal region to form the desired axial chiral by areas. However, uh, the two uh, associated changes can be foreseeable. First, uh, the, the bulky aerating region may need the uh, uh, may need a structure modification to uh, enhance its uh, reactivity. For example, introduce the reaction with joint groups or collating groups to, uh, to boost this uh, very challenging oxidative addition step. And uh, proper uh, current opening comparison will also Uh, strange, Changhui. Changhui, I think we it's lost the voice. voice. You lost oh, no, the voice? Oh, no, no, it's good. It's good enough. It's good enough. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, the model reaction between uh, allyl uh, to iodine toluene mass uh, and the two mass ether and the six mass of allyl bromide at the the, the uh, relation range and also uh, T third footer accurate uh, as the terminating range. And the DFT and uh, the desired product is like this. So the DFT calculation, calculation the, the rotation value is about 33 take time per more. So it is uh, means uh, have very uh, stable uh, thermal stability. So we uh, examined the, the this reaction by using the simple uh, normally as the catalyst and also uh, only 10% of the desired uh, racemic product was uh, obtained. We then screen the values of the uh, normally, uh, chiral normally derivatives as the co-catalyst and uh, we find the, the one with the true ester substitution shows the optimal reactivity and the stereo control and the desired product, product can be obtained in good yield and excellent EE. So this, uh, therefore, we identified the, the optimal co-catalyst and the, the, also the proper iterating uh, reagent. Then we screen, uh, we probe the, the subscope of this uh, uh, unique reagent when we were at the IGC, a broad scope was uh, uh, presented and like uh, the two uh, acid group can be uh, replaced by a free carbon acid, a nitro group or an amide group, even a uh, vulnerable amide or of phosphine uh, five uh, group. And uh, the other group can be a uh, LQ group or a uh, uh, halogen or benthic alpha. So this is, uh, it shows a very broad subscope. Uh, 
uh, interestingly, we also um, for the other substitutions like a floral or methyl group, uh, they may be either too small or we're collectively competing with the S group, so which leads to the uh, uh, the, the uh, zero EE. Uh, for the sub uh, the aeration group, group uh, region with the two uh, electron with own groups, the reaction works well. However, the inantial control is poor. Uh, they are uh, they show only very low EE. Interestingly, we when we increase the uh, the, the self hindrance of this uh, S group, uh, uh, so the EE will uh, improve dramatically. Uh, for electron uh, rich uh, aeration region uh, like the, this uh, uh, alpha uh, next bromide ones, they show very low uh, no reactivity. However, when we uh, introduce a methyl group or methyl C uh, group or hydrogen group uh, at the benzylic position, the yeah the uh, the reaction reactivity will uh, will improve and also actually E was uh, obtained. So this very interesting phenomena. As to the subscope of the uh, uh, the area iodide uh, substrate, it is also very broad. Uh, as can be seen, the, the also substitution can be alkyl group or, or or floral group or methyl group, uh, and also also poly substrate the uh, area iodide can be uh, applicable. Uh, interesting, the the, uh, the bromide group also tolerated, uh, and also the the hydro uh, area iodide also tolerable. Uh, the reaction can be run on grain scale using this uh, 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 yeah, this uh, area iodide uh, less room iodide as the reactant. As to the terminating reagent, most of the monosubstrate uh, the orphans are suitable reagent, no matter it is uh, electron withdrawing or electron rich ones. So this is how it is showed very broad subscope. Besides orphans, the reaction can be also terminated by terminal alkan or um, alkyl boronic acid or fender boronic acid or cyanide or ketones with alpha uh, uh, alpha uh, hydrogen. Interestingly, for this one, it shows very uh, uh, the erosion or EE, which is uh, uh, originated from the, the low rotation barrier uh, as uh, measured by the, the, the uh, racemic uh, uh, experiment. The rest can be also terminated intramolecularly. Uh, for if the two positions have a uh, uh, carbonyl group, it can be terminated uh, into molecules from the chirofluorine, the E and the E are all excellent. Therefore, the, we, uh, the, this reaction has very broad scope and we reported uh, 82 cases. Uh, and uh, the reaction can be also extended to the synthesis of uh, Wisner base axial chirality by using the also substitute the phenol boronic acid uh, derivatives as the terminating reagent. It can be also uh, extended to the synthesis of C uh, NC axial chirality through intramolecular termination um, by the, the uh, also uh, amide group uh, with the Bucky area substitution. Therefore, uh, our reaction is very, uh, very uh, efficient and the, there's very uh, pro uh, promising features like the reaction is using simple and common study materials. Uh, with very unique chiral uh, control mode, and the product are very diversified, and uh, it is a modular synthesis and uh, can be uh, access to a wide variety of uh, chiral, uh, extra chiral products. Uh, interestingly, uh, uh, Professor Sung and uh, Professor Yu group recently reported similar studies for the synthesis of extra chiral uh, barriers using polydium chiral bonding covalent catalysis. Uh, interestingly, our research can be extended to the uh, besides the X chiratic and also can be extended to point chiratic. Since just as I mentioned, it can be uh, uh, access the chirofluorine through intramolecular termination and uh, uh, it went through uh, access to point chiratic transfer. This uh, uh, palladium chironobalin uh, catalysis can be used uh, applied to the uh, kinetic resolution of racemic tertiary benzene echoes to obtain true in natural enriched products. DFD calculations uh, were carried out to recognize the enantial discrimination process of 2.1 kcal per mole for energy difference between the two competing uh, oxidation process of the two enantiomers uh, were, uh, were obtained and eventually designed the extra KR uh, efficiency. 
uh, this reaction uh, or reaction is very useful and it can serve as a chiral platform technology for synthesis of chiral catalyst ligand. For example, the S group can be reducted to, uh, to transform to the aldehyde, and the cleavage of the uh, CC bond can lead to the, uh, the very versatile base aldehyde. Uh, it can be transformed to very diversified the chiral catalyst and ligand through very simple uh, operations. So this is, is very, I think, it would be very attractive strategy for since uh, very lower uh, exochiral uh, catalyst and ligand. My my second uh, talk uh, part uh, second part of my talk is about uh, the synthesis of chiropharacin via platinum norbolin uh, relay catalysis. As we know, platinum chiropharacin are widely applied in catalysis medicine and the materials. Currently, uh, the synthesis want to substitute the uh, uh, PCFs uh, through SMX also C activation is well developed, and Professor Yu is a leading expert in this field. However, the since the one three sub, high subset PCFs through remote CH activation remains a daunting challenge. Based on our uh, previous studies, we reason that the use of uh, norbonin as a relay catalysis catalyst to push the auto C activation to the meta C activation might be an attractive strategy. However, multiple challenges are foreseeable. First, the distinction uh, topology difference between the FMP complex and AMP complex. Uh, are already obvious and uh, the associated large ring strain of the FMP uh, means it is more difficult to form. Lastly, the remote required remote uh, steel control will be an additional challenge. We initially uh, taste the mode reaction with the MP monoprotected amino acid as the chiral ligand and the simple norbolin as a mediator. Unfortunately, no desired product was obtained. The major side product was the one with the MBE retained, which means the beta carbon elimination step didn't take place. So therefore, we, uh, we think uh, we reason of ceramic increase the ceramic hydrants of the norbonical catalyst may be beneficial for the de desired uh, beta carbon elimination to form the desired product. Therefore, we screened a set of uh, uh, norbonin derivatives Co-catalyst, and uh, we are delighted to see the one with the bridge head substitution uh, shows very uh, promising uh, reactivity. Uh, actually, this one was reported by first uh, by Professor Dong uh, in the Irene system. This bulky norbonin co-catalyst uh, worked well with the platinum catalyst and the uh, chiral amino acid uh, ligand to form the very uh, efficient uh, co-catalyst system to achieve the inactive selective remote CH isolation, and the lead, which leading to the fun, one step since the one three subsidy PCFs. Uh, this capture can be extended to since the one two four tri subsidy PCFs through an additional CH uh, 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 CH functionalization. So our research opened uh, uh, develop a new mode for remote CH elevation and open a new chiral Planned chiral space, uh, a set of uh, blend chiral ligand and uh, catalyst was since using our chemistry and showed a very promising uh, application in asymmetric catalysis. So, in conclusion, uh, we developed a set of um, um, efficient norbonin co catalyst through the modification of the uh, norbonin uh, skeleton and uh, therefore developed the platinum chiral norbonin asymmetric catalysis for the modular assembly of uh, chiral. X chiral barriers and uh, developed a platinum uh, monoprotected amino acid uh, norbonin asymmetric relay catalysis for a modular assembly of one three dissected chiral metallocins. So uh, we our research opened a new chiral space for the development of uh, new aromatic uh, function uh, function molecules. Finally, I'd like to uh, this is the most important slide, and I'd like to thank my students for the their hard work and thank the collaborators and the colleagues for their help. And thanks to the uh, the funding for financial support, and also thank you for for your listening and uh, welcome you to visit Wuhan University. Uh, today also the, it's the Chinese Dragon Festival, and also happy happy festivals to everyone. Thank you, thank you. Uh, my my talk is uh, is uh, is uh, uh, yeah is uh, is finished. Thank you. Thanks, Changhui. Uh, that's really great talk. Uh, the the slide is a little bit behind your talk. I'm not sure that's a. Uh, case for uh, any other person. But for me, 
seems a little uh, little bit behind your talk, but 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 still it's a, it's a really a really great talk. I think uh, uh, this catalytic system uh, you really show the powerful to construct different uh, chiralities. So um, I would uh, thank you. I would like to yeah I would like to take the opportunity to thank uh, all six uh, uh, young talented speakers. Uh, it's really the rising stars in the organic synthesis and uh, for the truly exciting uh, research, re, re, research, research talk. I think that they included, uh, covered all the organic synthesis area, you know, from the asymmetric catalysis and uh, uh, to uh, this uh, uh, chemistry and also the iron catalysis, the CH bond activation, uh, also this uh, polymer material synthesis and also very mechanistic uh, uh, lignin design, metal complex synthesis, and uh, also for this uh, new uh, catalytic reaction. Also, Tianli showed this uh, a really, really powerful organic catalysis, and uh, also the, the Chang Hui's last talk is a, it's a, it's a really super, show this uh, uh, powerful for CH bond activation. This pretty more uh, uh, noble catalysis is really powerful. And I think uh, I would like to uh, thank you all again for the really wonderful lecture and uh, uh, that's uh, exceptional uh, science. Uh, also thank all the uh, participants, uh, you know, for uh, joining us for uh, participating in this uh, Rising Star Symposium. Uh, if you have any further uh, questions or suggestions about uh, synthesis and uh, uh, science of synthesis, you can just uh, uh, feel free to uh, let me know. And uh, if you have, happen to have a chance to visit Shanghai, do let me know and uh, I'll be happy to be a host in Shanghai. And with that, I think uh, uh, we are approaching to the end of the symposium. Uh, Alex, do you have anything to add?